Hey folks, when it comes to ergonomic keyboard, what comes to your mind? Is it the comfortness or is it very hard to get used to? So today I would like to discuss what ergonomic keyboards actually do and how can we evolve from them. Common ergonomic keyboards mainly do two things. First, make your wrist more relaxed and make your fingers more relaxed. Some people may know that long-term reverse bending or twisting can cause tenosynovitis and carpal tunnel syndrome. This is why we feel more tired when using mechanical keyboards with high keycaps. Some ergonomic keyboards keep the wrist straight in a horizontal direction through a split layout, and some provide wrist support to keep it straight in a vertical direction. Together, they greatly reduce its burden on the wrist. For fingers, ergonomic keyboards shorten travel distance to keys by adjusting the keypad or making keyboard more bended to fit the shape of the hands. This effectively reduces the extreme stretching of hand muscles. And finally, we also make some adjustment to let our default position more comfortable by stretching our hands in a natural curve. Well, these are really cool designs except for one thing. I took a very long time to adapt. And just somehow, my typing speed decreased dramatically. And I believe a lot of you guys may feel the same. So, why does this happen? To figure it out, I did a test with some of my friends. We positioned our hands in a naturally relaxed state and painted on our fingers. Without physical keyboard, we blind typed the same passage on the glass surface. We kept all traces of our fingerprints and overlapped the typing traces with traditional keyboard. We found out that even without the tactile feedback of key edges, we can still type accurately. But as we typed faster and faster, the traces were left somewhat deviated. We gradually pressed to the edge of the keys. After some analyzing, we found that the shifts are mainly caused by reduction in the finger travel distance. The direction and angle of finger movements remain relatively constant. However, we also noticed in the experiment that not everyone can find the ASDF horizontal line. So, when some people unconsciously put their hands into an angle, I thought their fingerprints would rotate based on these angles. But, unexpectedly, their fingerprints are flat. Huh, interesting. Then, I let them try to split their hands in some distance, while well, this time we have very different results from our testers. Some can type as accurate as before, but a lot of them even feel like they don't know how to type. For those pro users, they have very strong muscle memory, so the split won't influence them too much. But for most people, our brain determines subconscious movement. The layout change jammed our cognitive fluency and slowed down our input speed. The split gave us comfort, but created a new obstacle in our typing. So, is the split design really necessary for ergonomics? No, I don't think so. I did some research. The split is mainly to solve the problem of excessive arm angle when the posture is leaning forward. However, when you stand upright or even lean back, the angle between your hands becomes much smaller. Well, to be honest, I think this problem should be solved by ergonomic chairs rather than keyboards. After we understand all of these, we plan to do a better ergonomic keyboard. We want to combine most of the ergonomic elements while keeping our typing habit. We don't want to sacrifice too much to get used to a new layout. And here it is. Let me introduce our JSD keyboard. It looks like traditional keyboard, but we have redesigned the ergonomics from the ground up. We have shortened the vertical distance between the row of ASDF and the number area. Make knuckle stretching easier. However, when the distance is shortened, the button area becomes smaller. It's not comfortable to put your fingers on it. So we use hexagon keycaps to expand the area of touch. Well, in this way, it not only makes it easier for fingers to press keys, but also reduces the gridings of edges and corners. Here's a detailed design. We have grouped up functional buttons into the main region. To avoid mistypes, the gap between functional and number keys is greater than other gap. You can just feel it the first moment you touch. The bottom half of the keyboard has also been adjusted. The length of keys is increased, and the area of spacebar is larger, which fits your natural curve better. Our palm rest let your wrist have a very large area of support, reduce the compression of your carpal tunnel. The curve adapts to the natural angle of your hands. All of this gives you an entire new experience of typing. It only takes you about 5 minutes to get used to, but greatly improves your comfortness. And we've done much more. TTC frozen silence switches allows you to have a very smooth typing and not be annoying to people around. We have filleted all corners to enhance your long-time touch experience. You won't be disturbed by the frictions or gridings from edges. Our palm rest is magnetic attached. You can open it to find replaceable back version keycaps in case you need, and store some pens or other small items on our table. 
I believe that whoever gets our GSD ergonomic keyboards can obtain a comfortable typing experience quickly without learning it. And now, we have already launched a crowdfunding campaign on Kickstarter, and if you are interested and would like to experience it, please support us. There are also other exciting features like wireless charging, cool softwares, and a lot more waiting for you to discover. Well, that's it. See you next time.